So while I'm a fan of just keeping my widgets and my home screen pretty simple, like I have here, calendar and reminder, that's all I really need. A lot of people want to take it to the next level and really make their iPhone look great. So you can turn it into something that looks a little bit more like this or even crazier. I'm going to show you how in this video. So there's basically three pieces to my home screen right now. I'm using two different widget applications which you can find in the app store and there's a bunch more as well that you can try out. But I have color widgets and widget smith and you may have heard of one or both of these. And unfortunately with both of these and probably most of the third party widget applications, when you click on a widget it'll only take you to the widget host app. It won't take you to like the calendar app for instance like you can do with apples. So if I click on color widgets, it takes me to the color widget app and I can select different widgets and widget smith takes me to the widget smith app. And basically if you want to make one of these, you just go into the app and you click add small widget. You can customize it and you can change everything from the style, which includes images, icons, date, weather, which does cost money, step count and activity, and lots of other things. Then of course you can change the font the tint color, the background color, and the border color. Once you have the one you want, just take note of the name of it. So this is called small number five. And on your home screen, you hold down, you press add. And for instance, since this is Widget Smith, I'll click Widget Smith. I'll click small, add widget to my home screen. And then when I go into there, I can click edit widget. And I can choose which one I wanted. So for instance, this one is small number five. And it's the same process for pretty much any widget that you're going to be adding to your home screen. So here I have the color widget up top. And I have it in this kind of green theme. Then I have a widget smith icon down here. And this is just an image. And then I have four green applications. Two of which are just the normal applications. So you see this is the Boston T and the Cash App. But what I also have is two blank icons, which are actually Siri shortcuts. And you can create custom icons for any app that you want. And it's a little bit backdoor. So when I click one of these, it actually opens up Siri shortcuts and then YouTube, which certainly isn't ideal, but that's kind of what this whole setup is with this recent trend of customizing home screen on iOS 14. Most of it is pretty backdoor. So I want to add some more custom icons to my home screen without any text underneath them and this green color. So I'm going to go into shortcuts new add action i'm going to search open app click on that choose the app that i want so we'll do youtube okay then you click the three dots and then the icon and make sure it is the green color that i want I'll make it this shade and for the glyph i'm going to make it something video related so there's this little play button click done add to home screen and here, if I wanted to put a custom icon, I could do that by taking a photo, choosing a photo, or choosing a file. And then you can download images from the web to use them here. So for instance, if I wanted to use this icon, I could. I don't, so click cancel. And then you can also clear the text for a super clean look. Click add. And then you can see it on the home screen. So I'm going to take away over here for a nice clean icon. And then finally, I have another Widget Smith calendar under here. So you see I have some custom apps, custom widgets, custom photo, and more. And it's a pretty simple effect. There's a bunch of different widget apps that you can try. You can add different widgets to your home screen. You can customize different applications and do whatever you want. Of course, you can always hold down on your home screen, click the dots at the bottom, and choose which pages you want to show and not show, which is a really simple way of modifying your home screen. So I can add this page here that wasn't here before and of course I can also just make that disappear so customizing the home screen is pretty simple it is pretty backdoor as well photos to widgets or create icons without any text stuff like that of course you can also customize your background I usually just like to google different backgrounds especially if I have an idea so this I googled green background and you can find this actually on idownloadblog.com and we also have a couple of articles on idownloadblog.com talking about customizing your home screen with iOS 14 so this is a pretty simple process there's not too much to it let me know if you have any questions and leave those down in the comment section below thanks for watching